This is a ball. And this is a neuron. It sends messages throughout your body. Give the neuron input and output and it can help us learn. Give the ball input and output and it acts like a neuron. The neuron can have one input and one output, or many. Is there a red animal in this picture? The neuron can decide based on its input. When the neuron has an answer, red, it sends its own message, red, red, red. Does this animal have eight arms? The neuron can decide based on its input. When the neuron has an answer, 8, it sends its own message, 8, 8, 8. Where do the messages go? Neurons talk to each other, they connect together in a network. Input neurons look at parts of the picture. Input neuron, input neuron, these are the parts of the input picture. And the output neurons have answers about the picture. Is this a red starfish, or blue starfish, or yellow starfish? Neurons in between don't see the pictures or give answers. They're hidden. How do the hidden neurons learn to decide? Training data can have correct labels on them. This is a yellow starfish with five arms, and this is a red starfish with five arms. This is a green starfish with seven arms, and this is a blue starfish with eight arms. Now we can classify. After training, the network has learned to label new pictures. What is this? This is a yellow five-armed starfish. A really big network can solve even harder problems with the help of computers. And now you know how neural networks work. Alright, that was it.